Hey there, we're Rhett and Claire, full-time travelers and digital nomads. Today, we're exploring Boston to find out if it's really worth visiting. Stay till the end of the video to hear our honest thoughts. This shit is not for tourists. It is not for tourists. Repeat. We're staying in a suburb called Westwood and getting into the city is very easy. There's regional trains which are only $10 for a weekend pass and you can buy the tickets on the train. So far we've been in Boston for this is our second day, full day here. We watched the hockey game last night which is pretty cool, nice experience. We ate the all-American breakfast which you saw. So yeah, today checking out some different meals to eat here in Boston. So far, this area is very old style buildings. We're here by the Trinity Church and the Public Library. Just surrounded by these old style cool buildings. Lots of history here. I believe Boston was formed in like the 1600s, so it's uh, almost 500 years old already. Been here for like five minutes and there's a church there. There's a church there. There's a church there. There's one left here, so there's like four churches. <laughs> in literally two minutes walk from each other. Okay, this is Beacon Street and Joy Street in Boston. And this is where the Black Heritage Trail starts, I think. There's no signs. It's kind of difficult as a tourist. There's no signs saying so, but we have a map and we're just gonna follow the roads. All right, we found a sign. Corner of Joy Street and Vernon, I think, or Pickney. So we've made it to the African Museum of History and the Abel Smith School. But you've got a book online ahead of time and there's specific time slots that you can come. Maybe it's during the COVID times. So they don't want to allow too many people to just walk in. But yeah, it's basically the history all about the black people's struggle for free education or equal education in the Boston area in the early 19th century. And this area is just so beautiful with all these old style homes very very quaint definitely a cool place to come and see and if you're taking photos it's very very nice here and this is the african meeting house which in the early days served as a school a church and a meeting point for community activists and political act activists that meet here to organize their rallies and all of that and this was built in 1805 and the bunkers when there were like police raids and stuff during the protests, they would hide down in these bunkers. Really? It was really Cheap messed up. Thing. It's very messed up. It's actually really beautiful around here. It's a mix of modern buildings and old, old buildings, eh? These red bricks here are for the second trail called the Freedom Trail here. So this is a much longer trail that goes through about 16 historical sites in Boston. We just went past the site of the Boston Massacre. Um, yeah, you follow this Freedom Trail. We actually did a little bit of the, the Black Heritage Trail, but now we're hungry, so we are heading to Neptune Oyster Bar for lobster rolls. like the Italian uh, quarter of the city. Lots of Italian restaurants around. 
statues of uh, famous Italian boxers. We are almost at the Oyster Bar. Neptune's Oysters. And there's a line, like you said. $30 and you get a bag of chips. After waiting like 30 minutes in the line for Oyster, what Neptune's Oyster, we decided to come next door instead and get lobster rolls here. And look who's been here. Guy from Dino's Driving and Dives. I used to watch him all the time and he's been here, so that's pretty cool. It's actually more significant for me because I used to love this dude. I used to be obsessed with watching that program. So we're getting a lobster roll to share and it comes with a bag of chips. It's expensive, it's $29. But have to do it. When in Boston. I must have lied when we said American portions are big. The hot dog at the game last night was like this big, it was so tiny. It was literally like eating a biscuit. This didn't fill me at all. And this is really small too. Yum, but extremely small. I ate that in two bites. Gone. On to the next. We're gonna try get a slice of pizza quick. <laughs> Can I have one slice, please? Thank you. Sorry? You need a box? Oh, I like that. A box, please. I'd like to take it to go. Thanks very much. Take care. Nice barbecue chicken slice, like two slices of pizza, and that was also $7. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much everything is around seven dollars here. So far, we've spent seven dollars on two coffees, seven dollars on two pizzas, and thirty dollars on a lobster roll. Obviously, the walking trail is free. So it's about forty dollars, just like almost forty-five dollars, just for a day out in Boston. Oh my goodness, that pizza is so good! No clam chowder for us. We are on our way back to the train now to head back to Islington Station. We've heard that clam chowder is sometimes not good. Yeah, some Depending people like it, some it people is. hate it. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to give it a skip. We haven't found it. So, Technically, I, mean, I don't like shellfish very much. Uh, so. I'm not a fan of like oysters or clams or mm, mussels. Okay. We're going to head back. But see, we don't have a lot of time here in Boston. Maybe we'll be back one day in the summer. It's been a good, decent day. How do you like Boston? Honest review? Yeah. Uh, it's a little, how do I say, <laughs> without the people in the comments bashing me. Uh, it's a little boring, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. It's not really it's a very touristy friendly city, I feel like. I feel like it's good for universities and raising families and stuff, but in terms of sightseeing and things to do and like, very well-known things to do, world-renowned. I don't know, it just doesn't... It's not New York City. Yeah, and I think it, that's why. <laughs> it is we big. just came from New York City, I'm like, okay, yeah. nothing can compare to that city. It does have a lot of cultural history and interesting things in that regard, but it's also winter, so it's not as interesting and as beautiful. And uh, also, it's a lot of walking so to yeah. see these historical places. You just have to walk a lot and you know me, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of walking. <laughs> it's still very beautiful. And there are subways that you can take, we haven't explored that yet. Doesn't seem to be as many subway stops in Boston. Mm. So you still gotta walk a hell of a lot to get to the subway. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool, look at these tram. interesting bus tram thingies in front of us. I don't know. 
walking through here. This is not for tourists. It is not for tourists. Repeat. We almost missed the train. It's leaving in five minutes. It's kind of hard to figure out where to go and what to do. Whew. We made it. We made it. Thank goodness. I feel like we didn't quite do a day out in Boston justice. We just had limited time in the city. The main reason for our stay here was to spend time with family, which we did. Maybe we'll be back again one day soon. Stay tuned, we're heading down south to Orlando, Florida, where we are eating all the food.